Let's see what we got here in the in the letter time. All right. Okay. It's just a prop. There's nothing on here. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, write I was up really my, hoping somebody <laughs> sent you a letter. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I, I get, like, conversations and questions that I get through Facebook or conversations in person with people. And I'm like, all right, you know what? That's something I write it down and bring it up. Okay. So, <clears throat> coming off the heels of the, <laughs> of the Browns and Deshaun Watson drama, how does the NFL and the Buffalo Bills put themselves back into another situation with Matt Ariza? Okay, so, real quick. For those that are not in the know and you live under a rock or whatever the case may be, here's a real brief synopsis that I can give you. Matt Ariza, a.k.a. the punt god, was accused of uh, accused with two of his former college teammates of gang raping a 17-year-old at a party last year. The alleged victim said that she was left bruised and bloodied, that her piercings were ripped from her body, ear, Ooh. nose, belly button, uh, that she was drunk and drugged, and was in and out of consciousness. Ariza was signed by the Buffalo Bills as a six-round draft pick in April with a $4 million contract. Uh, now, allegedly, the Bills did not know any of this information when they drafted him, but at some point before the scandal broke and his, him being drafted, they were informed of all the details. So, uh, to answer the question of... How do the Bills let themselves get back into this situation? How does the NFL allow this to happen? I mean, first and foremost, I feel bad for the girl. I feel bad for everybody involved and whatever that means moving forward. Uh, I feel bad for... Uh, I feel bad for... You know, I, I don't want to say I, don't, I feel bad for Matt Ariza because the optics just look bad. Um, that being said, if he's innocent, then I'll get to feeling bad for him then. But... As it stands right now, and the way that we've seen things go with Deshaun Watson, you, you, you're just a horrible human being. And the NFL, time and time again, for me, seems to keep screwing up. So how do they get? How do they allow this situation to have, happen? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know how you try to prevent something like this. Your thoughts? Most teams have PIs, and if they knew the situation was happening, there's no reason why he should have been drafted in the first place. Now, again, <clears throat> allegedly... The Bills knew nothing about this before. That's bullshit. I'm just saying, that's key word there is alleged. Then they're idiots then. And then they should hire new people that look into these things. So are you saying that it's basically, um, man, this kid can kick a football more than, more than, you know, 60, 70 yards. He's insane. He is the punt god. We need him. Let's overlook it. Maybe we can sweep it under the rug. I hope it's not that way. I mean, I hope that too. But... <laughs> It's it's ve it's very weird how, you know, everything progressed with Deshaun Watson. And I'm not trying to keep bringing up Deshaun Watson because I feel like I've talked about him on this program at least three times, and I've only done, like, four, five shows. <laughs> so it's like I, I don't yeah. want to beat a dead horse. But the fact still remains, this is a very, very messy situation. Oh, and it's horrible. And I, I've done a lot of digging into this about why is it just coming out now? Why is... Uh, Whatever. It's just not pretty. 